The Los Santos Drug Wars DLC has arrived in GTA Online. I'm going to show you guys everything you need to do to get the newest business up and running, but first let's go over the new stuff that doesn't involve the business. We have a total of five new vehicles available for purchase. The Surfer Custom, the Journey 2, the Tulip M100, the 300R, which is an Imani Tech-enabled vehicle, which is nice, and the Entity MT. There are also some nice quality of life improvements, such as being able to choose what phone contacts you want shown using the interaction menu, the ability to use the Terabyte to start all types of missions in invite-only sessions and public ones, and a permanent increase in the payouts of all smuggler cell missions. Now, onto the new missions and business. The first thing that you will need to do to start this adventure is go to the R symbol on your map after Ron calls you. This will launch the Welcome to the Troop mission, which is number one of six first dose contact missions. This mission starts out like a survival against a lost MC, then has you boating across the Alamo to take out more lost MC and recover Dax's journey, pick him up in it, and drive to the abandoned warehouse. After completing this mission, the abandoned warehouse, aka the freak shop, becomes available to visit in free mode. There isn't much you can do at the freak shop currently other than use the Mark II weapons shop, but it will have more use later on. Next, you will need to wait for Dax to call you about another mission and head to the D symbol on your map, which is right outside the freak shop and start designated driver. This mission starts with a drive down to the docks, has you steal a truck cab and grab a trailer, then as you are moving the trailer, the Lost MC strike and destroy the cargo. To get payback, you then must go to the Lost MC clubhouse and take out a bunch of their members, photograph their whiteboard, and steal some stuff from them and take it back to the freak shop. After that is done, it is time for mission number three, Fatal Incursion. This mission starts by having you go straight to Stab City and destroy the Lost MC's property there. After that, visit the fishery and steal some more product from them and fly back to the freak shop using their dodo. Next up is the weirdest and easiest mission of them all, Uncontrolled Substance. Watch the cutscene and then just keep moving forward while dodging obstacles on all sorts of vehicles, then chase the rabbit until you get abducted, then fall from the sky, to complete the mission. Next we have Make War Not Love. This mission starts with us meeting a new enemy, hippies. Head to their camp and destroy their lab equipment. After it's all gone, check inside their van to get locations of three delivery vans which you will need to hunt down and destroy. After destroying the third, go to the altruist camp and destroy another three vans that are there. The last task of this mission is to take down the altruist's Valkyrie helicopter. After you have completed that, it is time for the final contact mission, Off the Rails. Make your way to Humane Labs either quietly or loudly, I chose to do things the loud way. Make your way to the keypad to go inside of the building. Once inside, go to the loading bay and photograph the intel. After that, grab a crowbar and start prying open the crates until finding all five chemicals. Next, open the doors and make your way outside and beat the train to the switching station to derail it. After doing so, grab the cutting saw from the tool bag and head to the train crash site to search the containers for an additional five chemicals. Collect them all, then get inside the brickade 6x6 and deliver it to the freak shop. Now that you have completed all six of the first dose contact missions, you will need to do a free mode setup involving stealing the lab equipment from a warehouse for the Brickade's upgrade. This mission was my favorite of the DLC and has you play as a certified forklift driver packing pallets onto a truck bed after clearing out some enemies. When you are done loading up the equipment, drive the truck back to the freak shop. Now you will need to talk to Mutt inside of the freak shop over at the vehicle workshop section to install the lab equipment into the Brickade 6x6, turning it into your very own acid lab business. The installation price is 750k, which isn't too bad considering that you do get around 650k from completing all the contact missions for the first time with their award bonuses. This business works very similarly to the existing motorcycle club businesses. Refill the supplies by purchasing them or doing resupply missions, and wait for the production, then sell the product. However, there is one difference, and that is this speed boost feature that can be used once a day to speed production of the product. The sourcing missions are pretty easy, but barely give any supplies, so I would recommend purchasing them instead. 
Now that you own the Acid Lab, you can upgrade it and the delivery bike inside of the Freak Shop. To use the Acid Lab, you must take it outside of the Freak Shop. You can call in the Acid Lab using the interaction menu, as well as the delivery bike, return either of them, or even change its name for 5k. You can call Mutt to start the source supplies missions or buy them, as well as pause the lab's production. You can also call Dax to launch a special free mode mission once every in-game day that pays well. There will be lots more to this DLC in the future as Drip Feed is released. From the looks of it, this seems like it is considered to be part one of the DLC and that sometime in the future we will receive a part two. For now though, that is all. Thanks for watching. Peace.